The girl couldn't understand how her adoptive father was taking such good care of her because he had killed her own father. That night, the girl showed her cards and told everything she knew. The man instantly fell into a stupor, crying and begging her for forgiveness. You forgive me, sorry. But instead, the girl said she should be happy as it was her birthday. When the man wasn't looking, she immediately went up and stabbed him in the stomach. I really look at you like a father. The man crawled around in fear, desperately begging for mercy with the girl. But avenging a father's murder was not something that could be brushed aside with a word or two. Why can't you see that you're an inhuman beast? You let go of me. The man took the opportunity to knock the cabinet over and smash the girl unconscious. He had prepared a poison wine glass, but failed to use it. The man took the girl to the river and tied stones all over her body, wanting to completely destroy the body. But just then, the girl's phone suddenly rang. It turned out to be her boyfriend. When the man heard, the other party had evidence of his bribery and murder in his hands. He immediately revealed a deranged smile. Fine, you take the evidence for her. Early the next morning, the man went to the abandoned factory that was going to be blown up and tied the girl to the railing. He was going to get rid of all the know-it-alls once and for all this time. But when the boy came up, he failed to bring what he wanted. The man instantly turns pale and wants to kill the girl first to vent his anger. But the boy says that what he wants is on the motorcycle downstairs and that he is willing to trade with the girl so that he can go downstairs to get it. The man ponders for a moment and agrees to the request, but he only gives the girl five minutes and if it doesn't show up, the boy will surely die. The girl desperately ran to the location of the motorcycle, but she searched for half a day, almost dismantled the car, but could not find any trace of evidence. When the time comes, the man instantly reacts to the fact that the evidence has long been handed over to the police by the boy, and the countdown to the factory's demolition goes off. He tried to escape, but was caught by the boy in a death grip. After the thick smoke and dust, the man's sinful life finally drew to a close at this moment.